The kids are learning so much here. If I went to a normal daycare, it would cost me $300 per week for all three of my children. How, I mean, that's the whole paycheck. You're working to pay daycare? How are you gonna pay your bills? We gotta go pay the rent. This piece is all about making a social issue very human and making it something that's relatable. Maria Shriver was, uh, her father, um, you know, is, the, is Sergeant Shriver, the man who ran the uh, war on poverty. She had this idea of a project that would kind of um, go along with that. So when you start with an issue like that, you think, all right, we got to go out and what does poverty look like? We found this just an amazing, wonderful uh, location. It's called the Chambliss Ch uh, Center for Children. It was full of, of struggling um, single mothers. We met Katrina and we sort of looked at each other and thought, is this poverty? She seems like a very normal person, living life in a way that is very relatable, and yet she is on the poverty line and she is struggling to survive paycheck to paycheck. She had a lot of pressure on her, mostly financial. I didn't know that somebody could work 56 hours a week and still be absolutely on the brink of poverty. I think what was really amazing for us was when we finally got into where she works and we saw how amazing she is with the people she takes care of. Even nurses say a CNA's job is the backbone to the nursing field. 9.49 an hour for what we do. That is something that we should value as a society, the fact that she does that and gives 100% of herself to people who have often nobody and are living, you know, out the rest of their days in these kinds of situations. That's an amazing thing to bear witness to. Her evolution in the process was interesting. She went from being somebody who felt invisible to somebody who found her voice. I wanted to do it so I could inspire others that were in the same situation or similar situation that I was going through. She is a kind of a teacher. I think she sees herself that way now. She's somebody who had never been on a plane before. Now she's flown all over the country speaking at various events. It's really something that I really enjoy doing. I went to the White House for the signing of the minimum wage bill to 10 10 an hour. And it was amazing. The uh, United Nations, oh my gosh. I gave a speech, and during the speech, I got interrupted three times with applause. And at the end of my speech, everyone just started clapping, standing ovation. She's a lightning rod for people. They, they come up to her and they talk to her. I think they take inspiration from Katrina, um, which is something that I think she's that, that pleases her very much. It's opened a lot of people's eyes. They're seeing that people that live paycheck to paycheck aren't just lazy people. They are hardworking people that work 40 hours a week. It opens up your heart a little bit to let somebody in like that. It felt like, too, we were making the film at the right time. Things were bubbling up in the country. I feel like this award looks exactly at what it was that we were doing, the spirit of trying to make television that would be transformative. It felt like a little piece of history. Like we were, we were bearing witness to something that really represented the times in which we were living and would carry forward. And that doesn't always happen when you make a film. So this one was very special that way.